express our concern and disappointment with your decision. We are, however, not surprised since assuming office in January 2017, the victim's community has always found it difficult to receive your attention and sympathy. It is only once that they visited you at State House in 2018. As we live with, the, with, with that feeling of neglect by you, we watch with even bitter shock how you went forward to forge an alliance with the APRC. Not only did you refuse to disclose the terms of that, of that alliance to the public, but you, you also went further to visit Jame's family home in Kanilai. What we could deduce, therefore, is that you abandoned victims and embraced perpetrators when it was those victims that gave you the presidency. Hence, the nomination of Fabakari and Siri is part of a consistent pattern of your lack of political will and commitment to transitional justice and care for victims. Mr. President, in your heart of hearts, do you truly believe your decision to nominate these two individuals is in the best interest of the GAMI? Are you willing and bold enough to invite the mothers of the victims of April 10 and 11 or the children of Vera Haider, Haruna Jame, Solo Sandeng, and the families of Ibu, Ibu Job and Mahmoud, Mahmoud Sise, among other victims, to face them to justify this decision? Have you taken time to reflect on why and how you became president of the Gambia? Did you forget the past from which the Gambia came and what were the aspirations of the people as they voted for you? In your 2016 manifesto, you promised to ensure transitional justice and accountability for the violations of the past. How do you reconcile that agenda with the nomination of Fabakere and Siri? today as leaders of the highest organ of the state. We may not be able to remove this individual from this noble house, but rest assured that the most Gambians hold that Fabakari and City lack the moral, legal, and political legitimacy to be in this position. Their presence, shall be, their presence in the National Assembly is a dishonor to the honorable house, and it shall be regarded as such so long as they walk within the walls of the assembly. Fabakari and Sidi shall always be remembered as undesirable citizens of, who unleash intolerable trauma on Gambians as they plunge this country into a nerve-wracking political impasse that nearly threw our motherland into flames. It is therefore with utter shock that you would find no Gambians worthy of this high office other than Fabakari Tombanjata and Sidi SK Njari. Mr. President, be informed that we, the victims of human rights violations of Yaya Jami,